this is Brittany with r and Windows and Doors, and today we're going to show you how to replace the 141 mitered screen corners for your herd casement and awning screens. So what you'll need is a flat surface to work on. We use two sawhorses and a piece of plexiglass that we had, but any solid surface area will work for you. So you can see here we have the old screen corner here that is broken. And so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to remove the spline. Now you're not going to remove the spline all the way. You're just going to remove it at the corners. The spline is a piece of rubber. So use like a small flathead screwdriver or something with a little maybe hook on it that can kind of catch it and you can pull it out of that groove. Um, here at this end is where the two pieces come together. So you're going to get both of those pieces out. And on the long end, you're just going to remove about an inch or so. And then you're going to remove all of it on the short side. And we're only doing the one side. So you don't have to rescreen your whole screen. This is going to make the project a lot quicker and a lot easier too, because rescreening a full screen is much more difficult. So this way is pretty easy. So once you get a little piece out, you're going to just lightly pull up on it and it's going to come out of that groove. And then you're going to remove the screen because it's been tucked down in there and just gently with your fingers push up underneath and it will pop out of that spline groove as well. Once you have that out, now you can see that's broken screen corner. Now sometimes they remove really easily. They come out other times like this one. It's a pain to get it out sometimes. Um, this one was very brittle and just jammed in there good. So you could try to use a pair of pliers, but as you can see, it's breaking as I'm trying to uh, remove it with the flathead screwdriver, it was busting up. So sometimes you just have to take your screwdriver and shove it down further into your screen frame if it won't come out. Next, you're going to remove it from the long ends as well. And again, I sped this up because it took me a while to get these ones out just because they were really brittle and just kept breaking and wouldn't come out. But you're going to see the last one I do, it comes out real easy. So it just depends on your screen. And if any little pieces get busted up in there, just remove them so it don't rattle. And then you see this one came out real easy. Now here's the old screen corner and you can see the leg that goes into the frame is hollow. The new ones, they're not hollow, they are solid but they still have that mitered corner. So here's what the new one looks like. Now they go in only one way. So you have your screen frame and it has that spline groove. You wanna line that up with that little arrow tab that's on the inside of the screen corner. That is what becomes part of your uh, spline groove at the corners. If you do it in the opposite way, you won't be able to rescreen the screen all the way and you'll have to change it. And they don't fit together very well if you put them in the wrong way. So just watch that. And then you're going to insert one screen corner on one side. And you might do it maybe only halfway and you kind of have to put it in as an angle and then you'll insert the other one. Make sure your screen and your splines out of the way so you don't pitch it in there when they um, come together. And next we're going to now re-put in your screen. So you'll need your spline tool at this point. Now if your spline tool has a metal roller, just be careful when you go to roll in the spline that you don't actually roll your screen because you it can cut the screen and then you'll have to re-screen the full thing. So just be careful with that. And the screen mesh, it will be kind of cupped because it's been sitting in that groove for a long time. So it will kind of just fit back in there You'll just kind of line it up and it will kind of fit down in there. And then you're just going to lightly with your fingers push down that spline at first, not all the way. You might need to adjust it a little. You don't want it to bubble. If it's where the two ends come together, it might be a little short. So you might just have to stretch it a little bit with your fingers to make sure it goes all the way to hold in your screen mesh. And then once you have it lined up, you can see I'm adjusting it a little bit. Just take your time. And then once you get it where it's sort of in and holding everything in place, your screen meshes right, it's tight, there's no bubbles or creases in it, 
then you'll go back over it and push down all the way. You don't have to push super hard, just a little bit, and you'll feel it slip into the groove. But you can go back and forth over a few times to get it in there. And then you'll do the long edge ledges that you pulled up as well. And push them back down in there, just like that. And now in the corners, sometimes your roller won't go in all the way. So you could take a screwdriver and just lightly push in that spline at the corners. Now just be careful when you're removing the spline or pushing it back in with the screwdriver or anything that you don't poke your screen and make a hole or you don't slip and uh, scratch your screen frame. So there we go. We have one side done. Just finishing up that corner a little bit, making sure it's down in there so it holds it all in tightly. And now we'll flip it over and we'll do the other side. And you'll see this side, it was much easier to get those screen corners out. So we just repeat the same process, remove the spline and the screen frame and then the screen corners. And now this is a herd casement screen with the mitered screen corners, that's part number 141, and the color is gold tone. That's what the screen frame is, that's what the color of the screen corners is. Gold tone was Herd Standards colors for many years. Um, and so it's kind of like a weird green gold color. Um, the screen corners come in the gold tone, and then also white and bronze, which is kind of a chocolate color. Now you can see this one screen corner, it wasn't broken, but I'm gonna replace it anyway, because when I try to remove it, it was pretty brittle and I was able to bust it easy. So it was on its way to breaking anyway. The screen corners will break over time. They get brittle just because of the sun. Um, it breaks them down, um, but it's a lot nicer than just having metal corners because that would mar your wood. So these screen corners really do protect the wood of your window, which is a lot harder to replace or fix. And now you can see these are the mitered screen corners and when they're installed, you only see about a quarter of an inch of that mitered. The new style has square, but if you have the mitered screen corners on your original windows, you have to use the 141 mitered ones to replace it. You can't use the other style. It'll make your screen too big. And so here it is again, lining up that spline channel with that corner arrow piece and now we're inserting it. And once you do a few of these, the first one might take you a little while, but once you do a couple, you'll get a little quicker at it. And so we recommend if you're replacing two or three of them, replace all four. While you're there, does it take that much longer to replace four if only two are broken? And then if you do need to, if your screen mesh is bad, you can go to like Ace Hardware, they'll rescreen a full screen for you. Sometimes there's screen companies that make new screens for discontinued windows, like when there's hail damage and stuff like that, they'll usually rescreen screens for you as well if you don't want to take on that project. And then again, just take your time. We're putting that screen mesh kind of back into the spline groove there, and it's kind of cupped, so it'll kind of just fit in there. You might have to hold it a little bit with your fingers and then press the spline down just a little bit with your fingers to hold it in there in place. And now on this end, there was no ends, so it's all one continuous piece. So sometimes it can, this blind can bubble. So you just gotta work it a little bit. You'll see it at one point, it bubbles on me, and I just pull it out a little bit and replace it. No big deal. And you can see just after a few minutes, your screen is all put back together and we stock these parts, the 141 screen corners in the gold tone, in the white and in bronze. Those are the three colors they came in and you can order them on our website. It's at randrwindow.com, all spelled out, r-a-n-d-r-w-i-n-d-o-w.com and just type in the search box 141 or screen corners and they will come up and we have bulk pricing as well for them. Um, if you order, you can order one at a time, or you can order up to a whole bunch. We usually, we stock a lot of these during the summer because that's when people do screen cleaning and clean their windows and then sometimes their screen corners break.
And there you have it. Your DIY project is now complete and you have your new screen corners and your screens all back together. Uh, we do also sell the herd replacement full screens. They come as a knockdown kit. So part of it is screened for you and then you just have to rescreen the short ends. Um, that helps with shipping and packaging because if you bend your screen frame, it's metal. Um, but it can you can bend it easy sometimes trying to get out those screen corners. So just make sure you hold it at the end. When you're trying to remove and put back in the screen corners, don't hold in the middle. You could bend it. But if you do and need a full new screen, that's definitely something that we offer. Um, we can't just sell replacement screen frame, just like one part. The factory does not sell that to us. They either sell us the screen corners or a full uh, new uh, screen. So that's also available on our website at the r&rwindow.com if you're needing that. So happy uh, replacing your screen corners. Hope this video was beneficial and in